All right, let's talk about bug out vehicles. I'm going to turn this off so you can actually hear me. I love bug out vehicles. I think you should have a bug out vehicle. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer and I run tacticalspyschool.com. So, when it comes to bug out vehicles, obviously this is a four wheeler ATV. I'm a huge fan of four wheelers or ATVs, whatever you call them. I call them four wheelers. I was born and raised only a few miles outside of Washington, D.C. However, where I was born and raised, there were woods in the backyard. And we had an ATV and I could go down to the public lands and the creek and the river and everything. And I had a blast on these things. So people always ask me, hey, would this be a good bug out vehicle? And the answer, like most stuff in life, is yes and no. This can obviously get places that a regular vehicle can't. Problem is, you can't carry a lot of people. Sure, you can carry a lot of gear. I mean, I could strap all kinds of bug out bags. And of course, you can have your guns and everything here if you had a rack. And you can buy little trailers that you hook up to these things. So if you didn't have a very large family, I would say this should absolutely be a lot, be an option. Plus they're fun and you can use them in general. It's kind of the same thing that I tell people for bug out location is I have more than one bug out locations, but what it basically is, is a cabin for fun. So don't have your bug out location be some place that you never want to visit, that you're never going to go to. Pick a place where you would actually want to hang out vacation. That way it does double duty. So yes, if you have the means, can't go wrong with having an ATV. I have six kids, so I would need multiple of these things. And while I do own some, I don't own multiple of them yet. I'm working on it. I just gotta have the boss uh, approve of it. Other options are, of course, pickup trucks. I own several pickup trucks. They have four wheel drive. Obviously you have the high clearance, which can be important in a crisis situation. So I would definitely have a good pickup truck. Same thing with an SUV. I also have a Suburban. Our Suburban can fit the whole family because there's eight of us, as I mentioned. And it gives us plenty of uh, space to pack gear because you need to have your bug out bags. Depending on what's going on, you may want a tent if you're gonna have to stay somewhere for a bit. I've owned multiple tents over the years. I'm an Eagle Scout. I've done tons of camping, some of it voluntary, some of it involuntary, and a good canvas tent is awesome. The problem with canvas tents is they weigh 80 pounds, so you're not gonna bug out with it on your bag, but throwing it as part of your vehicle survival kit is a great option, and I have a whole vehicle survival kit. If you wanna go see all the contents of my vehicle survival kit, click on the link below and you can get that. Uh, but in your vehicle survival kit, of course, you're gonna have jumper cables. Of course, you're gonna have a jack. Now, get a good jack, not the cheap ones that come with the cars. I get a quality one, and then you're going to have food, you're going to have water filters, you're going to have flashlights, you're going to have knives. I mean, the same stuff that you have a, in a bug out bag should be in your vehicle survival kit. However, it should be on steroids because I've got my bug out bags, we got, which I can actually bug out and walk with. And they're about 25 to 30 pounds, give or take. My vehicle survival kit is a ginormous bag that I ain't hiking with, that I ain't going on foot with. But of course, I can pull things out of there. Also, get good ply tires. Where I live, I go in the mountains all the time. I live in Cedar City, Utah. And the mountains. There are some old uh, mines where they put the mine tailings or mining tailings, whatever you call them on the road. So you'll get flat tires. So get the thicker ply quality tires. I realize that tires these days cost a fortune. So I'm trying to think what I paid, $250, $300 a tire, uh, which is a fortune to me. But invest in good quality tires for your SUV, for your, your bug out vehicle. Uh, people ask me, hey, should I get a bulletproof? Well, if you have the money and you can afford it, why not? Hey, I'm a capitalist. God bless capitalism. But for most of us, we can't afford to bulletproof a whole vehicle. So you can, of course, buy bulletproof vests for each member of your family. I have plenty of friends that keep their bulletproof vests strapped to the back of their seat for them and their wife. So if they need to, they can grab them, throw them on. You can, of course, do things like put bulletproof, the, uh, the take the, the bulletproof material out of the vest, so the bulletproof panel, and you can strap it or duct tape it or however you want to rig it to make your vehicle bulletproof. Because if somebody's shooting through a car door, it's going to hit you. If you put panels, it will save you. You could put phone books and somehow tape them. You could put, I mean, reams of paper, go to buy a Xerox box full of paper, makes awesome bulletproof. So if you're trying to inside your house, have a bulletproof area, get a bunch of those reams of paper, turn it on the side, stack those high and hiding behind those, nothing's going to get through them. Well, nothing that most people have. Meaning a rifle round, it's going to stop. A regular, you know, 45, nine millimeter round, it will stop because we've tested it. So that's an inexpensive way to bulletproof your vehicle. I'm trying to think what else, tow chains. You got to have tow straps, you got to have tow chains as part of your bug out vehicle. That's kind of a, a no brainer. And then as I mentioned, the food, the water filters, I'm trying to think if there's anything I have missed, but I think that's it. If you can afford a $600,000 crazy end of the world vehicle, again, awesome and call me. I want to check it out. But otherwise, get a good SUV, get a good pickup truck, have the right gear stocked in it, have quality tires, have a tow hitch so you can uh, tow a little mini trailer, or whatever. Don't get anything big because in a crisis trying to get through things with some giant 
ginormous trailer is not going to happen. It's going to be difficult, but you can buy one of those small ones to throw extra gear, which are easily towable. That's a good idea too. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned, if there's anything I can do for you, please leave a comment. I will try and help you out as best I can. Also, please subscribe to this channel. I would tremendously appreciate it. You'd be doing me a big, big favor. Like I said, if you want to know the vehicle ops gear that I carry and all my trucks, and my Suburban and all that, definitely click on the link below. I'm former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you. God bless your family.